Um, the orphan, orphan crisis, the domestic crisis here in, in Budapest, here in Hungary, it looks very different than the stuff you see in China. All right, um, in a lot of ways, it's kind of similar to America, but definitely has, you know, its own twist because it is Hungary and not America. A lot of kids who are orphaned, who are abandoned, um, are not that way because their parents are dead. A lot of kids are abandoned because of domestic abuse. A lot of kids are abandoned because of substance abuse. Um, a lot of kids are unwanted. A lot of kids um, are in a bad situation because their parents are divorced. And so here in Budapest, that is what we're seeing. Right? Here is what we're seeing a lot of here in Budapest is a lot of stuff you see in America. Um, what happened in China was you had the one child policy and you had a culture that is against those people with disabilities. And so you see a lot of kids growing up in the orphanage, like completely abandoned um, by the parents, like unwanted. Here in Hungary, you see a lot of orphans that are very common with the orphans you see in Africa and South America. You see a lot of poverty orphans and you see a lot of orphans because their parents are unfit uh, to care for them. It is a uniquely Hungarian twist because there are not adoptive families here as you would see in America. There's no foster care system like the way you see in America. And so a lot of these kids are going to grow up in group homes. So what that means is that they're going to come in and out of this group home. What that means is that some kids will be actually here for years and years. And um, there's a lot of limbo, right? There's not a certainty. I guess if you want to say there's a good thing about orphanages in China, at least, at least you can say there's a certainty about what your future looks like. Um, here in Hungary, there's not necessarily a certainty of what your future looks like. There's not necessarily a certainty that you're going to be re reunited with your parents. You know, some of, the, um, some of the kids in this group home have been here for years and years, and they don't know how long they'll stay in this group home for. So it's its own kind of hardship, it's its own kind of uncertainty, and they don't grow up with the same kids for years and years. One of the things you see in China is that these kids will spend their entire lives growing up together. Uh, here in Hungary, these kids will not age together. Because some kids are going to come in and out, what you're going to see is that some of these kids will be in the, in the home for years and years, while their friends in the home will go in and out. And I think that's really tough. Our team on this trip, one of the things we wanted to do, obviously share the gospel. You know, obviously put the word of God in front of them but they're kids, right? So how do kids learn about the love of God? How do kids learn that Jesus is real and that Jesus serves them? Because they're, they're in a city full of churches. There's the evidence that Christians exist. There's the evidence of that the Bible is a text. But how do we make it real for them, right? How do we make this text come alive so that when they read God is love, it is not just text on a page, but it is a real thing that they can feel. 